Hi, my name is Hans, Technical Marketing Manager at Quali, and in this demo I want to walk through the latest hybrid cloud capabilities that are part of the most recent Quali Cloud Sandbox release. In this demo, we'll see how incredibly easy it is to model complex hybrid cloud sandboxes in Cloud Shell. To do this, we'll start by modeling a full application blueprint and related infrastructure and deploy it to a vCenter-based private cloud using a predefined template. Then, we'll show how easy it is to take this same template and deploy it to an Amazon AWS public cloud with just one click. From there, we'll see how quickly we can modify the blueprint so that some application components are deployed in the public cloud and some in the private cloud, with a secure tunnel between the two to achieve a true hybrid cloud sandbox. So let's start with the private cloud scenario. First, I'll start by logging into Cloud Shell's web-based self-service portal. From here, I'll see all the sandbox blueprints that are available for me to deploy. Now, suppose I'm a QA engineer and I need to create a sandbox environment that my team can use to run performance tests on one of our company's internal enterprise applications. We'll call it the Flex application. I'll start with a blueprint that we've already started creating for performance testing the Flex application. So here's the blueprint, and you can see that it's a web-based app with a front-end load balancer, an application server, and a back-end database. So I'm going to add some performance test components to this blueprint, like JMeter resources and a high-end traffic generator, so that we can run some realistic performance tests on our application. And I'll do this just by dragging and dropping the components from the app template library. Now we'll deploy the application and infrastructure directly from the blueprint. As Quali deploys the sandbox, we can see the VMs coming online, which is running in vCenter. And once deployed, we have a live private cloud sandbox. Now notice the power of cloud sandboxing here. Not only is Cloud Shell deploying VMs and app components, but also test tools, as well as non-virtualized resources, like the traffic generator, as well as networking components. Sandboxing is the only way to capture complete full-stack environments, which is critical when orchestrating complex enterprise scenarios. We see here our Flex web app has been deployed and is now live. Now suppose I want to run those same performance tests with the application running in the public cloud, perhaps we're validating a cloud bursting scenario. Let's see how easy it is to take that exact same blueprint and deploy it to the public cloud. To do that, we'll start with our original blueprint and deploy it, but this time we'll simply select the target cloud environment for the entire sandbox to be AWS US West 2 on our AWS cloud. So just like we saw with the vCenter private cloud version, we'll see Quali deploying all the VMs, but this time they'll be running in Amazon. In fact, if we jumped over to our Amazon uh, AWS console, we can see the machines coming online. So now we have a live deployment of our Flex application running in the AWS cloud. Finally, let's see how easy it is to deploy a true hybrid cloud sandbox with some resources in a public cloud and others in a private cloud. We'll start with our base app template again, which by default will deploy to the AWS public cloud. But suppose for security and compliance reasons, we need the database resources to run in our private data center. To do this, we'll just need to modify our public cloud blueprint a bit. First, we'll simply change the deployment path of the individual database resources so they deploy to our vCenter private data center. Second, we'll just need to add an IPsec tunnel component to create a secure VPN connection between our AWS resources and our private data center. To do that, I'll open our component library and browse to the network components that are available. In this case, I could use the native AWS IPsec component or a third-party VPN like Viata. I'll add the IPsec component and connect it to our database VMs and our Flex app running in AWS. Cloud Shell will automatically configure the IPsec connection based on what VMs we're connecting between our public cloud and private data center resources. As we did before, we'll start the sandbox deployment directly from here. We'll see Cloud Shell's orchestration engine automatically deploy our front-end components to AWS and our back-end database components to vCenter. Here we can see both the AWS resources and the vCenter resources coming online. We can also see that Cloud Shell is running the necessary automation to configure the IPsec tunnel. 
Once again, if we jump to our AWS console, we can see the front end components have come online. And it also, the AWS IPsec connection has been configured. We've now successfully deployed our company's Flex application in a true hybrid cloud sandbox, with front end components running in AWS and the back end database on our local data center. In this demo, we saw how easy it is with Quali to create complex, full stack hybrid cloud sandboxes with resources running on VMware vCenter and in Amazon AWS. It's important to note that these concepts can be extended to other cloud providers as well, like Azure, Google, and OpenStack.